very good afternoon. Dutch bike blogger on my way to work. People on their phone, people talking. People doing on stuff on their bikes they shouldn't be doing. By the way, I've been to the bike shop this morning again. bike mechanic slash owner of the shop did drive on my bike and to my surprise the sound was there seems to be in the crank which could be a major problem because he told me that it's not going to get out of there only get, getting worse so I have to live with it for the time being until it becomes really really bad and then will I, I will give him the order or ask him and all the people around to maybe change the crank and fix it because I cannot drive on with it. It's making me mad and crazy. Tried to do some fixing myself but it didn't go as planned. Well it didn't solve the problem actually. So we'll have to learn to live with it. Just to basically standing as it is. Bad, bad, bad. <coughs> well, it's windy today. Not very cold, but very windy. Not happy about the windiness. Brought my gloves with me, my beanie. So tonight it will be cold, I think. Waiting to be uh, to get a green light, and we have a green light at the moment. Let's don't go straight, but go to the side here. Left home early, just to get a little bit of a longer ride in. But as the wind is picking up, can feel the wind quite vigorously. It's not fun to ride. Somebody really driving fast through here. What an idiot.
idiot driving style, idiot in the car. All matches up. What a moron. Well, driving through here, been here before, but then from the other side. Whoa, big hump. Thought I cleared it, but missed it a little bit. Well, that's not good. Now on the parallel there, to my right, the train track, the elevated train track, elevated on a wall, earth wall actually. Pickup truck, nice car, way too big for the roads in Holland, but nice car. Well, sunny day, don't let you deceive by the sun because it's colder than you think. The wind makes it cold. Wearing a normal jacket, a t-shirt this time, no polo shirt, way too warm, no gloves, no beanie. Long pants. Slipping through here. Oh. Bumpy road. Maybe I'm too fast for the road. That's a bumpy road and driving fast through a bumpy road doesn't make it easier. It makes it a lot worse. Go through here for a change. Normally I take the bike line on the right. up when I go straight. Just have to see. Should be able to go around. It's a big street so there should be an option to go from this side to the other side. Not sure where I win. will be ending up. I do have the time, so no problem. Ending up beside a school or something. Oh, now I figured it out.
driving headlong in the wind facing the wind I'm actually cycling the wrong way around now driving away driving away from work Well, going through here again, been here before. Let me have a look if I can go through here. Oh, yes, you can. That's very nice. where I will be ending up oh uh, same as always Well, we ended up here. In the Friese Straatweg again. Well, camera's still rolling. Let's look at the time. Quarter pound before. Time enough to make a little longer video. Let me have a look. No trains. Well, in the distance from building activities, it's the location where the Max Outlet used to stand. Building some apartments for students, I think. Not sure. If they are going to. But I thought that was a plan, so. Driving alongside the ring road to my left. Gas station Tango. Kilo uniform Tango. And the Dutchman knows what I'm talking about. Kilo Uniform Tango. Follow that road. 
Well, I will gladly do. the industrial park on the south of it really old car Ford or something blue license plate well that's old we changed to yellow white license plates in I think in the 80s or so Tiny dump, it's cheap but it's shit. Something following me, police car uh, in front of me, way in front of me by the way. Well, going to make a right turn here onto the Diamantlan. It's a way longer road. Let me see if I can go somewhere else. The Diamantlan, it's a nice lane, but it's way straight. There's nothing really going on there. Car coming, so I have to stop. Other cars are coming, but I can stand in the middle of the road. Thank you. Let's go down. After this car, crossing the bike lane. looking both ways thoughts on the bike lane some people tend to drive on the wrong way side don't know how but they do see so have nothing to do with diamonds probably on the wrong side now I think I've run in a dead end quite embarrassing if it would it did it does so make a turn around here Go to the playground. nobody here so if we're busy I wouldn't do so and this gate is open too which is great Going through the gate and back where I came from. Right up into the wind. Let's see if I can go through here. Oh, like a bike lane, a uh, pedestrian lane. Well, we'll have to find out. And then otherwise we have to turn back. Whoa. It's a bad surface. Definitely a pedestrian lane, not a bike lane at all. Which would be nice a bike lane here. Crossing the bridge. And where the hell did I end up? Well, follow my gut feeling and go through here. If 
some kind of park. Not sure where I am, but I will find out when I get home and have a look on the map. You already know, because you have the Google Street View with you, and you know where I'm going. Well, a bike lane. Let me see. Let's switch to the right. And go where no man has gone before. Well, that's not true. I'm lying a little bit. Sorry. I think I will go left, if possible. Well, it is. How nice. Car driving back. Not sure why. When I passed him on the left, he was looking to the right, so the driver did not see me at all. Why? Because you can't drive a car. Well, that's not true also. You can't drive a car. You're not very good at it, but you can drive a car. Actually quite bad. Normally in Holland, when you drive backwards, it is you who has to see and look. Wow, the storm drainage cover. <coughs> Sorry for the coughing again. By the way, bike still making noises, but knowing where it comes from and knowing that it can be fixed by myself nor with a simple switch of a bike mechanic it eases the problem I have to deal with it maybe in future I will go there and ask him to fix it AKA replace the whole gubbins and hope it will be better. Cars, cars, cars. From here. Till eternity. No, not really. Just here. Well, I'm gonna work an afternoon and an evening shift again today. Tonight, with this, the next upload of the video, will be a more darker video. But I charged the bike light this morning and this afternoon, no, this evening, last evening and this morning, I have to say. So there should be a little bit of power in there. I think I have to charge it more regularly. It might be okay. Might. Drive onto the sidewalk and through here. Turning back over a muddy part of town, muddy road, trying to get through here. What a load of toys are outside, gee, no kit to be seen, but a truckload of toys standing outside. going but at least he stopped well going through here 
Not a bike, no, pedestrian lane. Oh Dutch biker blogger, what are you doing? Driving on the pedestrian lane. Why? Well, because I can and it's not busy. And as I always say to you, I'm a professional, don't try this at home. It's not recommended. And of course I'm joking, I'm not a professional, I'm a good willing and trying amateur. And are people way more handier with bikes and smarter than I ever will be. Frequency viewer will know where this is going. a boarded up section of the road which of course is a bit of a disappointment but we can manage by sitting on the bike grabbing onto the, the blockage and turning around and now we have a little headwind again Gee, where that came from well from the big buildings standing here and when the wind blows onto them it will go to the side and accelerate and that is what hissing my face Phew. Well, we're on the regular bike lane again. Yes, we are. Community gardens. All kind of crap on there. about two minutes past two so I will be getting through when I have to be at work so I have to go there jumping over the sidewalk again this time continue straight print on it. it looks horrible My right youth detention center. Sometimes I have the impression that they can walk in and out if they please. Or there would be some separate degradations of security. Testing my bell. I don't know, working okay. Now it does. Well, a little, little clickety clack now it's off the wheel, the crank, but can live with it for the time being. You may think I'm a whiner, but I have difficulties 
coping with repetitive noise, how small they are. Screaming off the bike was making me crazy and mad. And this clickety clack noise is not also very pleasing to say the least. But knowing where it comes from makes it easier to cope with. But can I assure you when it gets worse, I will bring my bike to the shop and it will be repaired. It doesn't matter what it costs. It will be parts, labor, but it will be fixed. It got me a really expensive bike, put parts on it. A few years ago, back wheel from 75 euros, 120 euros of new gubbins and a guard, uh, chain guard, 35 euros for new saddle, a new steering wheel for about 25 or so. Well, some tires, but that's normal. To a really expensive bike, and I add everything up, it would maybe be better to buy a new one, but I don't get the quality I have now. At least the frame is a good quality. Parts are quite new now, so it should be also not be a problem. Simple. Well, almost got to work. Thank you for watching. Please like this video. And if you want to subscribe, please do so. And I will see you this evening. Take care.